I want to finish answering this question. I didn't give you any information about the motion of the salmon in the x direction, but I asked how fast he was going in the y direction. And in the previous video, we've already answered that question. We found that the initial velocity in the y direction, I guess I'll call it v naught in the y direction, was eight meters per second. We were rounding a little bit, but that's how fast the salmon is going upward in order to stay in the air for 1.6 seconds. The next question that I asked is, how high up did he get? And I guess I'm trying to figure out exactly how high up he is at that time. So let's sort of collect all the things that we know, and then we can choose an equation that would be appropriate. While we're doing our collection, I want to go to the list of the four kinematic equations that we'll be using. Remind you that I like to call them the classic, the definition of average acceleration, the definition of average velocity, and a tail of two scores. And I want to collect some things that we know. Let's see, we know the initial velocity in the y direction. We just found that, right? And we know, let's see, we know the acceleration in the y direction, and uh, do we know the time? Do we know when we want to know how high up the salmon is. I think that we do. That's the time at the top, which is 0.8 seconds. So we know time at the top, and we want delta y. We want to know how high up the salmon is at that moment. So let's see if there's an equation with delta y in it that also has initial velocity in the y direction, a sub y, and t at the top. You know what else we know? We actually also know the final velocity in the y direction. We could just call it vy in that case. So we could use this equation right here because it's got delta y and the other stuff. We could use this equation right here because it's got delta y and it's got the initial velocity in y and the final velocity in y and the time. In fact, we could use any equation that has delta y in it. This one, this one, or this one. I'm gonna choose this one right here because I like to go back to the classic because I named it the classic or maybe it's the other way around. So what I'll do is I'll plug in the time. Now the careful thing is, I know that this salmon was in the air for 1.6 seconds. If I take the classic and I plug in the fact that the classic <clears throat> has time here and time here, and if I plug in the total time that that salmon was in the air, remember the salmon's doing this, then I will find out how high the salmon is right there. Delta Y here, equals what? You guys can think about that for a minute. I'm trying to figure out delta y at the peak, and that's going to be halfway through the time. So I'm going to use the half time, which is t top, and it's 0 0.8 seconds. So let's try to do this in uh, without a calculator. We're totally freehanding it here. I'm gonna say that delta y is v naught in the y direction, which is eight meters per second, multiplied by time, and that's supposed to be 0 0.8 seconds, and then I'm supposed to add to it one half the acceleration in the y direction, which I'm gonna call negative 10 meters per second squared, so that these numbers are tractable, and then I'm supposed to multiply by, uh, oh, the time squared, which is 0 0.8, meters, oh sorry, 0 0.8 seconds sucker score. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of 64s floating around here. Let's see what we can do. Looks to me like I've got 6.4 meters right here. See the seconds cancel the seconds, that's cool. And then this number here, oh, this number over here is going to be a little bit of a negative number. So I'll subtract, let's see, this is, z whoa, this is 0 0.64 seconds squared, and then I'm supposed to multiply that by 10, so I think I get negative 6.46, 6. oh, that's very interesting. I get negative 10 times 6.64, so I'm gonna get 6.4, meters again, this is meters per second squared, the second squares cancel out, and then I'm dividing it in half, so it's going to be minus 3.2 meters. This is a very interesting symmetry, but I find the answer to be 3.2 meters. That's how high up our salmon is when a salmon reaches the peak. So that's the answer to the question. I'm gonna go, goodbye.